And so welcome to Calvary Lutheran Church on this Christ the King Sunday, the final Sunday of our church year. It's one of those weeks when our texts from the prophet Ezekiel all the way into the gospel all put into a summation. What does it mean to be a follower, uh, to listen to God, to hear God's word, and to try to live that out in our lives? And so our texts pull that all together and say, when all is said and done as God's people this is who we are. This is how we live. And so this is a celebration of those of us who are called and baptized and now are sent, who know the hope of the resurrection. Wanted to also lift up that uh, we still have seven angels left for the angel tree. You can pick those up in the church office or give us a call and we can do things uh, over the phone to make sure that if you'd like to be a part of that ministry, you can still uh, get in on that before all of the angels are claimed and, and sent out. We move quickly then into uh, later in this week, the uh, celebration of the Eve of Thanksgiving. We will have a special worship service available online as well for that. Uh, you'll want to tune into that. We've uh, added a couple of uh, different touches to that service. The staff has participated with different ideas uh, to make that service one that uh, comes alive for each and every one of us. And then it'll be uh, on to the season of Advent. Every evening in sun on Sundays in Advent, uh, we will have Facebook Live devotions from the prayer garden. So you can tune in in the evening and um, we'll send out a link for that as well as just on Facebook Live where you can just go right to our page. So watch for more details on that. Uh, we're sending out a mailing uh, rather quickly so folks will have that as well. Uh, we'll put everything out on Facebook, on our webpage, as well as uh, send that out in an email blast. So that's it for the announcements. Let us uh, continue as we begin uh, the time of our worship on this Christ the King Sunday. We begin this service in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The darkness of winter is settling in. Christ, Christ the King, King give light and hope to our, our spirit. spirit. The fear of illness permits all of life. Christ, Christ the King, King brings healing and wholeness to our hearts. The hunger and homeless struggle for warmth. Christ, Christ the King, King leads us, us to feed the hungry. The distress of our neighbor shuts us away from each other. Christ, Christ the King, King calls us, us to love one, one another. another. The storms, the fires, the pollutions cause us to worry. Christ, Christ the King, King calms our minds to work to, work to make, make all things, things new. new. The wealth of one nation over another sows hatred and war. Christ, Christ the King, King calls us, us to tend to the, to the least, least of these. these. As God's people, we humble come before God this day. We are seeking forgiveness, renewal, and the grace to begin anew with joy and thanksgiving. Christ, Christ is, is the King. Our opening hymn is All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name.
you can. Let us pray. O oh God of power and might, your son shows all the weight of service, and in him we inherit the riches of your grace. Give us the wisdom to know what is right and the strength to serve the world you have made through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'll read it from Ezekiel chapter 34. Thus says the Lord God, I must sell a search for all my sheep and will seek them out. As shepherds seek out their flocks when they are among their scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they have been scattered on a way of clouds and take darkness. I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them into their own land and I will feed them on the mountains of Israel by the water courses and in all the inhabited parts of the land. I will feed them with good pasture and the mountain heights of Israel shall be their pasture. There they shall lie down in good grazing land and they shall feed on rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strength, and I will burn up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak, but the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them with justice. Therefore thus says the Lord God to them, I must say with joy between the fat sheep and the lean sheep, because you push with flank and shudder, and brought up all the weak animals with your horns, until you scatter them far and wide. I will save my flock, and they shall no longer be revenged, and I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them. He shall feed them and be their shepherd, and I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. Thus says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
is the lamb who was slain Worthy is the king who conquered the grave Worthy is the lamb who was slain Worthy is the king who conquered the grave Worthy is the lamb who was slain Worthy is the king Today's called Christ the King Sunday. That's our title, it's the end of the year. It says now when you take everything all to the end and you look at it as a whole, we're, what are we left with? We are left with Christ as King. From our first reading this morning from the prophet Ezekiel, God obviously has a very different sense of what power is, what a king does, what it looks like to be a child of God. It's so different that most often we can't even wrap our heads around it and even comprehend what God's saying to us. This is what it must look like in God's kingdom when the Son of Man comes in his glory. Glory, not in the power to dominate another, but glory in the ability, the strength, and the power to do things for another. Found at a food shelter, a place where food is, where food is freely given, where people are welcomed no matter what, where you have a place to rest your weary soul. So with that in mind, hear then the gospel from Matthew chapter 25. It's written in Matthew, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep and the goats. He'll put the sheep at his right hand, the goats at his left. Then the king will say to those at the right hand, Come you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food, I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink, I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing, I was sick and you took care of me, I was in prison and you visited me. But then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food or thirsty and gave you something to drink? When was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you or naked and gave you clothing? When was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? Well, the king will answer them, truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Then he'll say to those at his left hand, you that are accursed, depart from me into eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels, for I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you didn't welcome me. Naked, and you didn't give me clothing, sick and in prison, and you didn't visit me. Then they will also answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and didn't take care of you? And he'll answer them. Truly, I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And they'll go away into eternal punishment. 
but the righteous into eternal life. So when all is said and done, we have a very clear picture of what it's like to follow Jesus Christ, what it is to enter into the glory of the King. The sense of glory is one that we give as we've been given to, we love as we've been loved. When it's all said and done, as we stand before God at the end of time, we will hear the words, well done, good and faithful servant. You did what you were created for. You loved another as I've loved you. May your giving, your assessment of the year, as crazy as the year has been, be one where you celebrate with joy and thanksgiving your opportunity to enter into the glory of the kingdom and be one that was Christ to another. Amen. Our hymn of the day is What Feast of Love. Thank you. Please join me in confessing the faith of the church. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on a purchase pallet, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to joy the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O oh God of power and might, your son shows the way for all of us. 
longing for Christ's reign to come among us. We pray for the outpouring of God's power on the church, the world, and all in need. King of all, train our ears to hear your cry in the needs of those around among us. Bless all social ministries of the church throughout which we seek to serve others as we ourselves have been served. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bring peace to every place where conflict rage. Heal the sinful division we erect between us and release us from the system of oppression and prejudice. Restore our capacity to see your image in those whose dignity we have stripped away. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pull out the gifts of your spirit on children and youth throughout the church. Sustain those who work with children, youth, and younger adults as they nurture the gifts of young people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh God, we lift up those on Calvary prayer list. We pray you will answer them according to your will. And may you comfort those that need to be comforted. And those that need recovery, may you be with them. Thank you for the sins now departed, who fed the hunger and clothed the naked and tended to the sick. Inspire us by your example, that we may see your presence in those in need around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Receive our prayers into the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, until that day when we gather all creation around your throne where you will reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray for the offering. O oh God of creation, we thank you for that which you have provided through your people. God of all goodness, generations have turned to you, gathered around your table, and share your abundant blessing. Number us among them as we gather these gifts from your abundance and give thanks for your rich blessing. We may feast upon you very self and care for all that you have made through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them, them unto the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in the night in which he was betrayed, took bread, broke it, and gave it disciples, said, take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, he gave thanks, and give it for all to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant 
in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as we eat of this bread and drink from this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Come to the banquet. All is ready. Now take and eat the body of Christ given for you. Now take and drain the blood of Christ shed for you. Let's pray. Now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Our closing, our closing hymn is Crown Him with Many Crowns. in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.